Okay, so now that you have your ingredients for your flaxseed gel, you're going to bring two cups of water to a boil and add in one fourth cup flax seeds. What I do put the water in, try and get all the flax seeds out of the cup, the measuring cup. Now this has to boil for a minimum of 10 minutes. When you see that the seeds are floating to the top and it makes a film, then you're done. I like to let mine boil for 15 to 20 minutes more, well 15 to 20 minutes, um, because I like my gel thicker. Now I'm going to be adding something new to this. I'm going to be adding organic slippery elm so and that's this I'm going to put the information to why I'm adding slippery elm in the box below but I don't really have a measurement and you have to remember that you have to keep stirring I'm going to lower the fire some so that I can add in my slippery elm. And if you don't keep stirring, it will stick to the pot. So I'm going to add in two teaspoons of my slippery elm that I have here. So, well, one. Two. Alright, so it's done. Slippery elm also makes a good detangler, as long as, and marshmallow root. More people use marshmallow root than slippery elm. Mommy, can I for baby? Yes, baby. Okay, so once you've finished boiling the flax seeds, you're going to pour them into over your strainer. Um, some use a stocking knee high. Um, I've had bad experiences with the knee high because it's just too hot. So you're going to pour it in your strainer into a container. Most pour it into the actual container that they're going to use. And this is the bottle that I plan on using. It's a glass bottle. I always put my flax seeds in the glass bottle. But I preferably pour the mixture into a plastic container. That I don't really use and then from there I pour my flaxseed gel mixture into my container my jar So once I've poured that in there, you I suggest adding a preservative, which would be like the aloe vera gel, um, lemon tea tree oil, or even lemongrass. I always add aloe vera gel to mine. How much do I put in there? Um, I don't really know. I just <laughs> add some in there. Maybe two tablespoons and then you can add your essential oils or whatever oils you like there goes a few just an example I always add in my homemade black castor oil gives it great great moisture and basically what I did with that is I infuse black tea bags castor oil um, biotin and um, there's some other oils I put in it's been so long since I made this I can't really tell you exactly what's in there, but that's what I have. So then I pour this in there. And I don't really use a measurement for this. I don't really put too much. Because cast oil is kind of thick. Then I put my top on. Okay. 
excuse me, and I shake. And there goes my flaxseed gel. Easy as one, two, three.